Hi guys, I'm Mark, your friendly tutor, and you are now watching your friendly tutor videos. Our topic for today is how to set recurring meetings in Google Meet using Google Calendar. When you say recurring, it is repeating or it happens periodically. So if you want to set meetings to your students in your online class, and you're going to meet them weekly or every other week, are you going to send them different links every week or every other week? Or do you want to set up or to set permanent link for the whole school year? So if you want to know that, continue watching, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates. First step is to open your Google Chrome browser and then you click this symbol, this Google Apps, and then you look for the calendar. So this is the Google Calendar. We are going to set our meeting um, using Google Calendar instead of just using Google Meet. So... For example, if your schedule in a section is every Tuesday, so the next Tuesday is on October 27, you click October 27, this one. And then, usually, uh, we start at 9.30 and ends up at 11.30. So, you click this time, this 9.30, or, or this 9 o'clock a.m., and then you change the, uh, the time. So, let's start 9.30 a.m. up to... 11.30 a.m. Alright, so if you're going to save this, um, the meeting will be just an instant meeting or a, a one-time meeting. So you, we are going to click this, does not repeat. So if your meeting is weekly on Tuesday, you click weekly on Tuesday. But if the meeting is every other Tuesday or every two weeks, so you click custom and then you click here two or no you change this number one to two so repeat every two weeks okay ends never all right and then let's click done and then you add google meet video conferencing all right so this meeting now has a, a, a google meet function then you click save Then, as you can see, here, we have October 27. Sorry, we have, uh, we didn't change the title, so let's edit it. So, we click this pencil here, and then we write the title, Meeting with 10 Result, for example. 10 Result. Save. All events. Okay. As you can see, you now have a meeting with 10 results on October 27. That's on Tuesday. And then let's check on November 3, the, the next Tuesday. So you do not have a meeting here. And then let's check November 10, the next Tuesday, the next next Tuesday. So you have a meeting with with 10 result as we have scheduled it as every other two weeks or every two weeks so we are ho so we are uh, expecting that you have a meeting here on november 24 yes you have and then you do not have a meeting on november 17 and december 1 but on december 8 again you have a meeting because we set it as um, every other two weeks so the question now here is how are you going to send the link to your students? So if you have a Facebook group or a GC, so you just copy the link. So where's the link here? So you click the date, October 27, or any other dates with scheduled meeting. So let's have October 27, and then you click this uh, meeting. So just click this uh, symbol, this clipboard here, and then you paste the link to your Facebook group or to your GC. So what if you want your students to be notified or reminded of your meeting? So just click this meeting here, and then you click the pencil, and then you add guests. For example, let's write my other email, Armento Mark. 
63 at gmail.com. So you're going to write all of your students' um, Gmail account here. It's tiresome, but it functions well. Next, you set the notification to 30 minutes here. So before 9 before 9:30 a.m. that's 10 o'clock a.m. each student will receive an email notifying them of your meeting as you scheduled it. Then you click save. Then all events. Okay. Ah. Then so would you like to send invitation emails to Google Calendar guests? So you're going to send them, right? Invite external guests. So the following guests are from outside your organization. Are you sure you would like to invite them? Invite external guests. That's it. All right. So I hope you have learned something today and you are going to apply it in your online class. That's all. Thank you very much. Yeah. Goodbye.